So Kevin here at Turn 5 Fabrication and today what we're going to do is be installing a Spec Me Auto roll cage on what I believe is the ND chassis. I have no idea the chassis codes, but it is, it is a 2010 Miata. Uh, so we open the box, there is just a bunch of shredded paper and within the shredded paper is your pre-bent and pre-notched pieces all ready to go as well as an instruction manual we've never done one of these we've always built custom cages whether it be one off or just the same thing three cars in a row so these instructions are really cool um, you know black and white like we're living in the 40s and basic straightforward tells you how everything gets notched or how everything fits up and gets tagged we, there's actually we have to cut a slit on the here to bend that in so yeah we will keep you up to date throughout the process of this and show you how it goes together a little bit of time has gone by and it looks like Troy is making some good progress over here Pretty easy, Troy. Yeah, this is going good. Everything fits up good, lines up good. You missed the spot. Did I? Yeah, vertical down. In, in the corner. Oh, yeah. Well, that's my favorite one. I'll save it for last. Those are good. This shit is really thin, too. These plates are really thin compared to what we usually put in them. Yeah. Like, what are they, 16 gauge, 14 gauge? Okay, so the guys have been working on the cage kit for a little bit now. And everything is fitted up pretty good to the instructions. We got to move that out just a little bit down there. And we're going to go ahead and TIG weld this one up. I know a lot of people MIG it. I'm not really a big fan of MIGging cages. Mostly on like convertible stuff. Uh, just because it's such an eye level thing that you see it. Um, I mean they tacked it with the MIG. But we are going to go ahead and grind that out and take them up. We're using a uh, Miller Synchrowave Wave 350. 250 I'm sorry. And uh, hey it looks like I found 20 bucks. Ah. Uh, it is my $20. Okay. Well, we are going to go ahead and get this thing all finished up. Get some things welded and we'll come back to it. Okay, so we've got the cage taken out in three sections. We've got the driver's side door bars, A-pillar bar, intrusion bar. The passenger side door bar, A-pillar, and intrusion. And we've got the main hoop with all the rear down bars and the harness bar and all that jazz together. Already welded up majority of the way, pulled out of the car to finish welding the rest of it. And then it will all go back in in different sections. The halo will get put in and then the gussets on the door bars as well as the FIA bars will be put in. And the um, there's a crossbar that goes uh, around the halo back to the a-pillar in the main hoop so now that the uh, left side and the right side are all welded up the main hoop and the rear down bars are all finished welded up it is time to go ahead and reinstall everything and get it all back into place tacked up welded and then we'll finish out the door bars it's got the gussets they come labeled Rear outside, rear, uh, those are the gussets for the door bars for the X-Style that are going to go here, fold around, here, fold around on both. I am very bad with keeping up with progress on the video, we're just so busy. Um, we've got the driver's side in. 
and the instructions say to use ratchet straps to pull on it which is great because we are going to need to pull that in pull it in in the center while we have something pushing it out on the edge it'll take some of that bend out of there and we'll get it to fit up flush how it needs to we use the guide plates that it came with to set the main hoop back into place and Troy is going to go ahead and put the other side in now you can see what we're working with here it's like a Japanese jig jigsaw puzzle something Same thing with the door bar. Yeah. That front's a little low. Yeah, hold the line. Hold the line. Hmm. Fair enough. Can it go out anymore? No. Because um, if it goes out, then it goes up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, just give her a whack. Break an attack? Yeah. There you go. Okay, that looks, that looks better. I'm good with that. Good with that. Cool. A lot closer. This side could probably do the same thing, right? Could come up just a little bit, maybe. Uh, check the the lower door bar. Cause you see the gap here, and the gap that side's pretty much touching. You know what I mean? Could it be? Yeah. It's okay if it does. So maybe you just give this one, yeah, let's go ahead and tack that in. All right, everything is welded. We are at the last point of this, which is, well, one of the last points of this, um, which is the door bars there. In here as far as the gap so we've got the ratchet strap going over yonder pulling that in and go ahead and we closed up the gap so go ahead and weld it Troy you need to step on the pedal for me? yeah third person welding ready yep. all right do a small weld on there or you think that tack's pretty good? Uh, don't give me a full hog, give me a little bit. That's all I gave you a second ago. Is that helping any? No. <laughs> More. Alright. Sick. Put that for your steel language. See that moving in. Show them the 
show them the door bar there. So as we pull it on the up end, the lip, the lip of it catches. Keep going. doing anything more. I can make that work. So after he tacks that, we are going to go ahead and get him welded up 100% and then finish out the last couple bars on the cage. back home. Oh, we had the gussets on the door bars. We're back at it again working on the Miata cage. So if you look down to the left, you'll see that we did the door bar gussets. Look down to the left, damn it. You'll see that we did the door bar gussets and I didn't film it because I didn't know how they were going to come out and how we were going to bend them but I think we've got it down pretty much to where we are good to go. So first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and we've got rear outside. We're gonna stick them in there like so. And just kinda take your bare paws there and give her a squeeze around. good. We've got front outside. Stick it in there as well. Just give her a squeeze. Troy, quit dicking around and get me some clamps. Oh. God, these kids, man. So we'll get that one clamped in there. Ideally, when these press up against one another, they're going to touch right there at the tips. Go to the left one. Same thing on the other one, just right there on the very tip of it. So after we get these tacked, then he can take the clamps and work his way down the whole, the whole structure of the tube. And uh, yeah, these should go in pretty good. So we'll keep you updated. Very bad at keeping up with progress on the video. We we're just so busy. But here is the final product of the Miata cage uh, that comes with the kit, the Weld It Yourself kit. We've got the door dimples put on. We've got the main hoop dimples put on. Got the FIA bars in. Like this cage looks really, really good. The only thing it was missing was these pieces here for the windshield. And I'm not even sure if it was supposed to come with them. I think it was, uh, but could not find them in the box anywhere. So we had to make some, no big deal. A couple inches of material, a couple notches. Uh, we have the dash bar there because we need to get the factory dash bar put in here before we can put the aftermarket dash bar in. Sweet. Come on down to Turn 5 Fabrication and uh, we do a whole lot of roll cages. We do a whole lot of S-chassis stuff, chassis builds, just all sorts of stuff. <laughs>